Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible and Legendary Iron Man uh, difficulty with around 90 plus mods, most of which double the enemy uh, size, then Yellow Alert, a better advent and about 60 different uh, hardcore enemies plus some more shenanigans that just make this a living hell. And much to your surprise, uh, potentially just as much as it was to my surprise, the campaign is actually running relatively uh, relatively well. I was uh, thinking at this point that I would have already been curbstone, but well, relatively well is, uh, is potentially not doing it justice. We already got shot down once uh, with uh, the Avenger and almost the campaign was over, so that uh, worked out well. We had... A couple of missions were really circumstances like enemy running into the VIP rescue zone sort of gave it an interesting dynamic but uh, overall we were trying to fight back but now here is where kind of the rubber hits the road because there's really no way around that advent black side where we are at the doom clock yes there is still 27 days on it but we really don't want to be at that point so it's now pushing forward it's five men against that nasty beast of a mission and those five will be enders grell sonar hawkbite and zirkim got some conventional grenades our first uh, uh, our first real mine shield uh, we got two med kits grell hopefully can help us a little bit uh, with that and thankfully her extra hit point she's actually doing really well with hit points uh, all things considered and then we got Enders um, with also an upgraded weapon. We upgraded the Templar's uh, fists as well. So we're doing relatively well on the equipment side. However, we are going to face a Chosen and potentially around 25 to 30 enemies. And that doesn't account for any additional shenanigans that have been put in there. So this might actually be a mission where we're hitting um, a brick wall and if we're losing this one here the whole area is lost and i need to think about a different way of uh, fighting and preventing the doom timer to tick down any further so wish me luck guys wish me luck good time to land and show the aliens who's the boss I hope that Hogbite can carry this here. Your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Oh yeah, I expect very heavy resistance, guys. Got some high ground here. Got some even higher ground there. This is going to be interesting. We are not on a timed mission, so I'll take my sweet little time to make sure we're not doing anything stupid. Hogbite moves up to the front. Roger. And that shutdown uh, Avenger here. Avalanche, rather. I think that's what the uh, UFO uh, enemy unknown scouts were called. That is a sign of a failed military activity, and we don't want to end like that pilot. Who apparently still sits in that um, Avenger, right? Yep, right there. Avalanche, but yeah. Okay, good. So, let's move on. You have my trust. Closing on target position now. Affirmative. Everybody move slightly forward. Even Enders. Okay, something is just ahead of us. I would love to take that high ground, like this facility here would make a lot of the fights easier. See that second level here, full cover, nice little view on the battlefield. That is pretty much where I would like to fight. As you order. 
All right, Sirke moves up, Andrews moves up. Literally everybody moves up. Good. Sonar needs to get down here, open it, and see if we can get inside up uh, stairs, uh, move the stairs up. Well, I was hoping Sonar would actually open the door, but okay. Legionnaire, Stun Lancer, Vanguard. Okay, well, guess what? Oh, it sounds like we want to close the door immediately. Position confirmed. Mi avvicino alle coordinate. We could go up here and try to enter that way. They might they might just run into us and then it's on anyways. Interesting turn of events, so the three are standing there. Guide my hand. Moving up. And Hopbite begins to move in. So the sonar and so does Grell. Can't really move much further than that. Don't know if the rooftop is clear, but this here should give us a pretty decent first position. And Endors moves into a position where I can start moving him into a more aggressive position next turn, either up here or into the kind of second floor. Getting the right position at the beginning is going to be crucial. I don't want them below or beneath us here. That would be a horrible situation. Okay, they are outside and know that that is potentially triggering this here should be fine want to get a good look on all of them good and now we know which fields we can position ourselves in which we cannot um, enders takes the best spot which is full cover right Followed by Grell. Circum positions here. Enemy squad located. On my way. Careful with all of those enemies. And time to overwatch. Okay, so far so good. A Vivern, okay. Vivern plus Purifier. It looks like a lot of fire based damage.
In a perfect world, I would like to start with one pack and not with multiples. Okay, so... First things first. That does not trigger anything, that's great. I see the path. And this here is mainly to declutter and not be hit all at once by some abilities. All right, hopefully one of them will remain here and the other one just moves away. Uh, gotta deal with these guys sooner than later. Can't let them move into the building. And I equally don't want to deal with so many enemies at once. All right, Overwatch, one more round. And let's hope that, that one of them is actually moving away whilst... Uh, no. See, that is XCOM's tiny little cheating. They know that we're there. And all of a sudden, the patrols are clustering up so that you definitely got engaged with two patrols. Make no mistake, they will run into us. Good. Biggest problem units will need to be dealt with first. And that would be, in my opinion, the stun answer. All right, here we go. Okay, I have no idea what that assassin does, but it sounds horrible. It sounds like one of those things where you should use an almost 100% shot to guarantee a kill. But apparently XCOM disagrees with that vehemently. Let's try again. I'm not sure if my target selection here is the best. Um, I have no idea. The purifier. Oh, well, the purifier is actually a problem because he has grenades. Oh, that's not good. That's a 50-50 chance to get this guy down and kill him right away. The other option is charging in further. It's potentially not a good idea. Okay, we can start to parry. Zirkim could move over here, and I think that's the right call.
time to deal with this Viverin. Cleaning the battlefield as much as possible. I am contemplating whether or not like a flashbang is actually the right call here. Because it would disable all of the special abilities. Moving a little bit further over here. Good, and now it's a question between shall we just kill that Viverin? And leave the mutant down there? Or use the flashbang? I think we're just killing it. Good. Parry in the hopes of of uh, tricking that mutant into a melee attack and there is our arch nemesis the hunter better known as immune to explosions shoots to kill regenerates yep not good it's dangerous. let's hope this time we're not getting two hunters Yeah, there might be a grenade play. Or he's just running away. Like a little bitch. I don't know. Don't make this too easy on me. I don't want to let him escape, which means we're going above and beyond to really mess mess him up. It's down. Don't get so excited. Those guys are a dime a dozen. Finally. Good. Sonar moves up, and I would like to have a solid front line. Sonar reloads. Hogbite comes back, and Zirkim also gets into high ground. We got two overwatches. Not perfect, but okay for now. Not sure how powerful that yellow alert is going to be. I think I'll stay over here, half cover for now. I'm ready. Overwatch. Out. And careful advancement. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. Yep, we're good. I think we're going to take a few rounds of just letting the aliens potentially move into us. There still could be another patrol and I will be careful. If we had a Reaper, the whole situation would look a bit different because I could scout out. But as it stands, I rather want to play it safe those two packs were beefy to say the least like that's 14 hit points we know there is someone back here clearly time is running out commander moving 
Good. Moving over. Slowly but surely starting to move in. Still nothing. At least the Chosen doesn't summon anything. Good. We're in full cover. And we're actually having a really solid position, which is why I'm taking the time here. Evolution cannot be stopped. We hear a few sound bites. Evolution cannot be stopped. Like, that's new. Must be some urge enemy. It sort of sounds like that. Okay, couldn't see anything on. Couldn't see anything on that uh, short cinematic. Sometimes when the fog of war is lifted, that. getting that immediate like glimpse of of something. But nope, not this time. Careful, 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 and Endorus takes a very careful full cover here. Pause the moment that we are. That we are rotating, we're going to see the enemies uh, charging in. And it comes at absolutely no surprise. So we could shut down that combat drone, just seeing what the heck defense is. I'd be curious. 100% disable is great. 50% takeover is even better. Could be our scout. Thirty-five percent with lightning hands. Good, we got that cannibal back there. Eight points. Just out of curiosity, six to seven, that's not just a kill. Fantastic. Very well done. Unfortunately, I already know that this perjurer has loot, uh, thanks to the mod, which I still disagree with, that should not happen. And that's a fantastic loot, by the way. Could see how that tower would be highly, highly uh, helpful for us. Let's kill the drone first. Good, I think we're haywire protocoling it. If we could take over that tower and take a few hits, that would be great. Let's try to control it. Mm, very good. It has enough armor. It has enough armor to just withstand quite a bit of punishment.
And I think what we need is even higher ground. So if we're finding something on the uh, on the rooftop, that would allow us to shoot it. Getting some parry here. Unfortunately, we're not finding anything. I was hoping the Chosen might be up here. But it really is not. In which case... Let's start to... Just take a couple of shots, really. Let's do this. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I think there is no one over here. However, that guy wanted to run to here, so I guess there is a pack inside, but not right here. Trying to get rid of the tower. But we don't need to immediately kill it. It's still going to be um, hacked for one round. Or for two rounds even. But yeah, that really worked out super, super well. Feeding our sniper a few kills. Actually, you know what? Grell should get the kill. Because she's closest to the captain rank. And this might just level her up. Reload Overwatch and just Overwatch. So the enemies are straight ahead. And I think we need to get our sniper a little bit closer. Even the high ground is not compensating for the penalty for squads uh, for squad side. Okay. Very good. So far, it's much easier than I would have expected. I actually would have thought this mission is just completely going to wreck us, but shouldn't speak too soon. The Chosen is still out. Enjoy these final breaths. Heading there now. All right. Good. So far we're doing fine. There is definitely someone in there. But before we're taking care of uh, the guys inside, we have just triggered another pack. And a big one, that is. Double cannibal, advanced trooper, something something. And a destroyer commando. Ugh. Energy shields, really? Potentially still tracking shot. Hate it, but because that would be a really, really good position. Arma 
Free reload. What are we dealing with? We have to... We have to use some of our grenades in order to just remove cover here. And that advanced trooper here is a problem. Big one. Alright, we can deal with it once the shields are gone. Dangerous to move all the way up there. I think this is the better play. Uh, play. Careful not to trigger another pack. Can't really hit more than one. Disappointing. Alright, so that removes the shield and exposes the guy. And this hopefully kills him. Yep, there was a high chance for crit. Good job. All of the shields removed. That's what I'm talking about. Good. This will make it easier to hit the guy. We got that extra. We got that extra chance to hit. Our percent chance to get that guy down. Kill him, but we would be exposed. Kill the drone. Still, he would be left over. No matter what we do, we're going to take some attacks. So, might as well try to do that now. A protocol, yes, please. All right, and we're parrying. Good, we still got dodge on hog bite. Which is not needed because he is such a pro. He's even going to uh, to avoid any hits. I can see further than you think. I'll give you a sporting chance. All right, Sonar moves up. Shotgun to the face. And that's not a kill. Holy moly. Let's move already. Grell moves up. And that was of course all a plan because we wanted to feed kills to Grell. And to Hogbite, who uses momentum to charge over. To Reload, Overwatch. Me. 
And this here. Hmm. Neither of these positions is particularly good for cover. Uh, for shooting lines. This here is actually decent. This here would be even better because we can shoot right through there. So it's only half cover, which is not great, but it will allow us to engage if we're going through that door. Okay, another pack is down. So far we're doing reasonably well. Time for a good old fashioned reload. With almost all of the weapons. And I think we're just going to overwatch for that turn. Next stop. Somewhere inside here. Sonar is on a mission. He continues to be the point person. Together with Hogbite, of course. Sierke moves up and not a great spot. Grell takes a position a bit to the back. None of the other positions were good for Overwatch, really. And we're seeing that there are enemies straight ahead. Which is not a surprise. I was kind of expecting that. <clears throat> so far, I think we've killed all of uh, the patrols. Maybe all but one. Alright. Closing that door, we're not, uh, we're not uh, spotted out yet. Actually, positioning in a very nice uh, setup. Sniper should go upstairs next. Okay, I heard a sector. Let's get it on already. I can smell the fear on you. There is no such thing as fear on us. Okay, okay, we're at the main room, and it's going much better than expected so far. I don't know what it is, but we actually managed to go and uh, shoot most of these guys relatively easily. Okay, they don't know. They don't know that uh, we're there. Perfect option to open the door. Alright, Zirkim actually... Takes the high ground. Did we kill that assassin? No. One hit point. Uh, still close. Full cover and we're flanking someone. I like that. 
Come on. Oh, look at that. A hair trigger in a perfect, uh, at a perfect time. Alright. Time for Hogbite. To deal with that assassin. There we go. And whilst we're down here, let's just uh, parry. We got the mind shield, so that sector soldier will be tricked into thinking that we ca he can mind spin us. Or shoot us. It's just getting worse and worse. I'm having a vision. Time is running out, Commander. That indeed was a horrible, horrible sit uh, decision. All right, we're keeping the high ground. I just want to get out of uh, that shot. Starting with that python. All right, well, at least some damage. Full cover, and that's a kill. No way. The game certainly is not very kind to us. Although, we still may manage to do it. Fantastic. So, now. Zirke moves up. And look. Um, can't, can't we hit both of them? No, we cannot. Six points, uh, six hit points for the Python. That could be a kill. And unfortunately it is not. And since I can see explosion, uh, potential explosions, that really means there is someone still waiting. Thanks to the stock, that's one point of damage and parry means we can at least counter the assassin who is trying to hit us thankfully we parried that All right, so moving up and let's see what this here is really about. It wouldn't be an option if there wouldn't be anyone that would take damage.
Okay, we gotta move up closer and closer. But before we do that... Um, let's do this first. Alright, there might be someone out there. And Urzus uh, moves up. And this plus this here. Overwatch. Parry. Overwatch and reload. I want to attack him straight up. Uh, why can he summon two? Alright, solid parry. Very good. Good, full cover. Oh, that's the right play. Followed up by really just shredding uh, the guy and removing cover. Okay, that's a start. I like it. I like it. Let's try to kill the drone. That worked like a charm. Good job, man. The shotgun to the face works incredibly well here. Grell takes a full cover as well. And that should be a kill. Alright. Now. Time to start a one-on-one -on -one against the guy. Perry. And we're moving down. Good, we're going to see another shot and another parry. And the both of uh, the two of them will now duke it out in between in between them. Good. I feel sort of bad for the hunter because he really cannot do much against that onslaught. At the same time, we're just going to stay here in Overwatch because why would I stop Hogbite from soloing him and take more risk than necessary? He's regenerating, which sucks, but we have parry. And that sucks even more for him. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch and another Overwatch. If he, if he decides to move in here, he will deeply regret that. But I think the AI is the AI has failed to understand that it will not damage us, and really, Hogbite continues to just go to town on him yeah the AI is not understanding it and I won't change their mind on that one
Good. Good enough. Andre's almost down. Okay, I have absolutely no idea why or how he managed to fall down. No, 14% we're not going we're not even going to entertain that. Matter of fact, here, Zirk him just in case he decides to attack you. You'll get some extra cover. Moving to Overwatch. A trick of my yeah, that is a bit of a problem now. Can we reach him or no. he just maneuvered himself out of the difficulty zone? Five hit points. How's that? Nah, that's not enough. In almost all of the positions, we would be attackable, which really sucks. That might be a kill. <laughs> One hit point. Overwatch. Finally. Got to cover. Overwatch. And that might might be good enough. Maybe not. Ouch. You weren't supposed to live. <sighs> Close one. All right. That's the bit of XCOM shenanigans that you really don't need. In the middle of it, the guy just drops down through the floor. Oh boy, more difficult fight than I would have expected, but other than that, the whole mission was relatively straightforward. I like it. So, Sonar uses his med kit. Good, Zirke moves up, reload, and we're all going to the exit zone short or uh, with the exception of Hogbite. Evic zone is over there. 
One, two, three, four. That's potentially the best spot. Next up, new turn, everybody has a full magazine, and Hawkbite takes the vial. Which, of course, results into more enemies coming in. Move to rendezvous point and get the hell out of here. Just one tile away from from actually getting out of here. I can do that. Overwatch. Tuning alerta. Scanning. Come get some. All right. Reinforcements are coming in. All right, that's one down. Love it. And that's two down. That is uh, the best Overwatch that you could have asked for. Time to get that stun answer. Come on. Head home. Hey, bye. Hey, bye -bye. Time to move over. Lighting hand shot. Yep. And normal shot. Even better. Very good. Some extra XP, every little bit counts. We're playing serious. And let's evoke everybody. Okay, cool. Hogbite almost got downed, but he would have had sustenance, so he was at no risk of dying, even with the bleeding. And other than Hogbite's wound, we actually managed to almost flawless the mission. Holy shit, that was 30 enemies. See, if you're... It's almost like doing those training camps in ultimate altitude where your blood begins to um, develop the ability to, uh, to um, work better and more efficiently with um, oxygen. And... Every single challenge run with the no shot uh, run, the rookie run, uh, the lone wolf and so on, you're you're increasing like that pain tolerance uh, of what is possible. So the moment when you are then allowed to actually work with a decent squad like the one that we have, 29 enemies just feels like a breeze. Uh, we fought two packs at once, but it really never felt uh, like we were on the back foot. And that's okay, I'm not complaining, this is uh, just the start. It's going to get gradually more more and more progressively uh, more painful. But, but for now, I can celebrate the victories. And we even got promotions. That is Lieutenant, that is unfortunately not Captain. I was hoping Rel would get that promotion hogbite uh, overcharge i like it 
that aftershock has worked very well for us amplify is also not bad like it and zirkin getting the demolition and he and endors could actually end up being good buddies why not why not it sounds like a good combination two expanded magazines and one advanced expanded magazine that is fantastic plus we finally countered the avatar project that's even better no that was a really good mission i'm happy that that we're still staying in the campaign it doesn't feel like the total kick in the teeth uh, that i was in initially expecting we're doing much better than i hope we uh, could have done and i think the expanded magazines like that will go great with a skirmisher and uh, the advanced expanded one specifically and let's see where we're putting the expanded uh, ones in it's always good to have that extra magazine capacity An impressive effort, Commander. The destruction of their black side intel is good slow, but facility lead fast. is better and much better so we're doing well uh, let's hope that this will at least stop the avatar project from progressing a bit uh, haven assault hmm. I, I distinctly remember how bad the last Haven Assault went. It was unbearably bad. We we immediately lost that one. Uh, yeah, well, that will be fun. We're potentially going to lose that area again. But we got Grell, and Grell can get Captain. We got Sonar here. Both of them could get uh, could become Captain. That's a good one. Hawkbite is out for a while. And we have just a deep roster of sergeants at this point. Uh, I like the tone of the campaign where we're taking so many wounds that I have to, literally have to rotate through. Like tiredness is not even a problem. We're just taking so many wounds, grave wounds, because we're just barely, ever so slightly getting away with it just give the word and i'll get started commander armor still not still not good enough inventory did we get a trooper corpse no i've had a chance to take a closer look at some of the advent weapons recovered from the field the alloy used so let's see where we are with making them more with research i'm guessing it's the same material we've seen them using all over the colony I think once we're done with uh, the resistance radio, what would we need? I have no idea what the scrotum here will yield as a research. I don't know. What could you learn from a ball sack? I can't afford to do the trooper analysis because we actually need the corpse for something else. This here would be good. Uh, the turret will give us access to blue screen rounds. No, the mech gives blue screen rounds, but the turret gives defense matrix and that at least compensates or prevents one loss condition, which is getting shot down. So maybe uh, we're speeding that up. We have, we have uh, been shot down once. Um, this is potentially top priority because uh, guess what? Mimic beacons are great. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad because uh, we could upgrade our melee weapons. Well, that's actually shite. We don't need armor now. No idea what that does. No idea what that does. Advanced med kits could be a thing. Yeah, and intel is always good. We could always use uh, that. And I have no idea what these are going to do either. What I can tell you is we have plenty of research. Uh, but the one thing that I would want to research is hidden behind kind of that mech breakdown, which we're also not having. So we're missing the mech breakdown for further armor upgrades, which would be great to just get to that uh, highest level of armor right away. 
and at least survive until the mid to end game just because we have enough hit points uh, to go through but I'm not seeing that happening anytime soon uh, so that that one is behind that research wall and then we got the actual armor upgrade which is behind the corpses which we're not having so maybe we're uh, going with the faceless corpses how many do we have Uh, I'm looking for inventory actually. Faces corpse one. Yay, Saiken. Well, that will not be enough for uh, for a mimic beacon. And we haven't even caught a single lost because I was hoping that we could build a lure on the lost missions. Uh, they would be quite strong without headshots. The loss are actually much stronger. Okay, anyways, let's see what are the options here. Wait a second, we had almost an upgrade. Sonar. Yeah, that aim isn't really good for him. That extra concealment, you could make an argument for that. But I would rather wait for the other options. Okay, so no one here has enough ability points to actually pull uh, pull something off. Yeah. Zirkim has a fantastic rapid fire, but I wouldn't want to give that to him yet. And Endorus, on the other hand, with Rupture, also has a really good um, a really good option. So that isn't bad either. That isn't bad either. But he's missing the lieutenant rank with basically death from above. Yeah, we need higher level soldiers. Um, it comes back to the same problem. Our soldiers are currently not at the rank to carry this. The equipment is slightly starting to no longer be super advantageous. I, I still can kill enough with five people, but I need a higher rank for a six soldier. That's priority number one. And then priority number two is actually surviving. So Mimic Beacon is one option uh, and the other one could be trying to get that mech Ilarium and then skipping uh, predator armor and just going for uh, for maximum armor to begin with yet another option could be proving grounds into special armor for the time being to at least have equipment on some of uh, them also the heavy weapons could turn out to be helpful for shredding purposes and aoe damage so it's not too bad i think that could be a uh, that could be a real good option and we got that uh, ability to instantly research um, any any ammunition once we are using uh, once we're using uh, the other resistance order in terms of upgrade here that's a real opportunity. Those extra, uh, that one extra option. But it will force us to put an engineer in here. How many more days? Five. We got the supplies. Before I forget it later, let's upgrade. So that'll offer us yet another resistance order. And we also got yet another resistance order, I think from um, from level two uh, that, that we have as familiarity with uh, the Reapers, if I'm not mistaken. So that means four resistance orders for now. Uh, we got to get more resistance orders just to stack those passive bonuses. And really, 
quite frankly hope for some good resistance orders i'm ha hoping for a tactical analysis which would be a game changer just getting those um those um one actions instead of two that wouldn't be too bad and i can see a couple of others double agent um, would be good uh, just to have more uh, firepower i suppose uh, another great one would be uh, psionic feedback um, or the one that allows you to reduce all of the crowd control to one round that is actually a fantastic one as well so um, that would give us in the later stages of the game a bit more survivability all of those are good we can't even upgrade anything captain and we don't have any captains yeah, that is that is bad. I mean, we're a bit behind, but as I'm always saying, eh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't expect to uh, play from ahead. Like uh, we could have been a bit further ahead, but we will eventually get there. Get the captain, um, uh, get the captain uh, rank, and I'll get a promotion uh, here in the next iteration. For now, this here actually looks really good, and we're doing another like short one, or maybe increasing the uh, infection just a tiny bit more with uh, the skirmishers as well. Ten days is is good. It's it's a it's a quickie. We can we can and should uh, do that. Gives us more resistance orders. So, anyways, that's kind of the analysis of where we are and a few thought process of what's happening next. Um, if you enjoyed the, ca uh, the campaign so far, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Bye bye.